so hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is not gonna be a tutorial or anything like that it's going to be a haul i did a big ass ulta haul now one reason why i did this haul was because ulta had that 20 percent off of anything and you know that never happens at ulta you never could get 20 percent off of prestige brands so it's like the drugstore brands so I took advantage of that, bought some makeup, some hair products, you know, I had to get it all. So let's just hop right in into There's a lot of shit in here. First product, Carly Bible Eyeshadow Palette. It is from BH Cosmetics. Now this is her second one. This is the Deluxe Edition. I did not get the first one just because I didn't really want it. But when I saw this one in there, I was like, I guess I'll get it because it's really pretty. Look at this color. So cute, these are highlighters. I just think it's so cute. Ooh, and they're soft. This is my first product ever from BH Cosmetics. And look at that highlight. Y'all know I love me some highlights. <laughs> so I'm excited to use this. When we were in there, my best friend was like, Star, you do not need that palette. I was like, girl, I do. She said, you got stuff like that. We were really in so I was like, my excuse is it's new and I don't have it. Okay. So next, I got the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and I got it in black, two on one. Now I kept seeing this all over the internet, everywhere, every single time I went on the Ulta website, it's on there. And I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I need some new mascara, so I might as well get it. So it's next. Next, I got. What is this? Oh, the NYX Wonder Stick. Now, I didn't know they came out with one for deep. It's called deep. So, it's for darker skin tones. So, I'm really excited to try this. Now, you know, what's, I'm trying to think in my head. What did I need? Where another contour stick? I don't need a contour stick. I just bought new contour palettes. It's made stock you. But, NYX stuff was buy one, get one half off. So, I was like, that's my excuse. That is my excuse. I mean, yeah. This is my contour shade. I think we would be able to see it, but yeah, I probably won't use this side though. I'm really picky about what I put on my under eye. Very picky. And the next thing I got was one of the NYX Vivid Bright eyeliners. I have the blue one, and so I was just like, I want to try to branch out on like bright colors because I literally just do neutral colors. Hence why I got that Carly Bible palette because I literally just do colors that's just everyday colors. I don't do bright so I was like let me get this yellow eyeliner and I can use it for something eventually eventually so next I got the new wet n wild highlight there is six different shades and I'm not going to swatch it yet just because I'm going to do a whole video on these plus the new ones that I ordered they came out it's called mermaid or something like that it's a new collection from wet n wild so I was like I'm not gonna swatch these yet. I'm just gonna save that for a video. But I just wanna let y'all know I got them. Anything new, and I'm able to get my hands on it, I'm gonna get it. So next, I'm gonna skip to hair stuff. I needed a new flat iron. So I got the John Frieda Frizzies flat iron. It's a sleek finish one. I've actually had this one in the past, and I went looking for it when I got my hair straightened. And I needed to touch it up, and I couldn't find it. So I was like, that was my favorite flat iron. So I was stuck using this one, this thick old Remington one because my hair is so thick that I have one like this, but the thin ones catch my roots really well. So I was like, I need to get another one. And I only paid $17 for this. So I was like, get it. It's on sale. That's my excuse. So to finish up hair care, I only got three more things from here. So I'm like, well. The Shea Moisture stuff was buy two, get one free. So that's my excuse as to why I bought it. I bought some Shea Sleek, Smooth Plus Sleek Hair Humidity Hairspray. It's, um, well, no, this isn't Shea Moisture. I'm tripping. This is OGX. I'm tripping. This is not Shea Moisture. But I honestly, I never use hairspray. And I was trying to figure out maybe this hairspray could help when my hair is straight. Or if I ever want to wand it and I want it to actually stay because I have natural hair and humidity any type of moisture touch it curls right back up and then it's just a waste of time that i even straighten my hair but i got this this one is extra old so we don't see if it works on my extra thick hair 
And next I got OGX Quenching Plus Coconut Curls Styling Milk. So this I'm gonna try this for when I wash my hair and leave it curly again. I'm actually pretty excited because I kept seeing this in the store, but I never tried it. So I was like, this is my excuse because it's about to get on free. And then I got the Hydrate Plus Marula Oil. I got an oil. I love oils. Oil my hair down every single day. Y'all may think that's a lot of oil. You're like, no, my hair is thick and it soaks up oil and I need it. So, oh, I also got a Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Shiny Super Skinny Serum. Basically, another oil. This was on the um, grab and go thing when you're like checking out at Ulta at the registers and it was like five dollars. I was like, I'll try it. I actually put them in my hair and this actually smells so good. So next, I got an Urban Decay All Nighter Lasting Setting Spray. I've never tried this before, and I know I'm late. Star, what are you doing? You never tried Urban Decay before, but no, I haven't. And it's because I always stick to Mac Fix Plus, or since I went to IMAX, I've been using the Scandinavian one. Now the Scandinavian one smells like lettuce mixed with cabbage, but it makes my makeup last. My makeup be set, popping all night. So. Next. Next, I got the, Lan the Lancome Foundation. I'm about to butcher this name. Tontidol. Tontidol. Ultra 20 round. Tontidol. I probably said that wrong, but who cares? I'm going to try a new foundation out. So I got this because another reason. I ran out of, well, I'm running out of my holy girl, which is Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm literally sitting here dumping it on my hand like, please give me some more, <laughs> And so they don't sell Estee Lauder in the store and I wanted to, wanted to do this haul and I didn't want to wait for the foundation. I was being very impatient, clearly. I could have waited or I could have just like told you I ordered it, but I didn't want to wait. So then I went into Ulta and the girl was like, you'll probably, if you love that one, you'll love this one. And I was like, sure, whatever. And I got to use 20% off. So instead of it being $47, $42, I think it was $47, paid $36. So I was like, $36 on my income. You can't go wrong. This is the packaging. I think it's so cute and sleek and classy looking. I like it. I got the shade. What is she? Not 500 something. 510 suede. So next, I got the Real Techniques Miracle Face and Body Sponge. Now I was seeing this all over the internet and I was like yo why do people have such a huge real technique sponge like I'm used to the normal size real technique sponge and I love that one I use that one all the time for my concealer and I was like yo why does, is your sponge so big Did they like leave water in it or something and then I went into all the time I was like oh that's why they sponge so big they came out with a new sponge I don't know how new this is but it's real new to me and it's really huge and I'm going to use this for my foundation Get a flawless base, y'all. That's how I like. And I also got another Real Technique sponge, and this one's a dual ended expert sponge. I don't know, it says full coverage foundation plus contour. I got it because it was multi ended, and that's how it was pink. So I was like, that's my favorite color. So I had to get it. Yes, and it was like $6, I think. I don't remember. I'm gonna link everything in the description box below so you know where I got. Well, obviously, I got it from Ulta, but you'll know the prices and everything just in case you wanted to buy. So, next, I got some Ardell, you know, Oldie but Goodies Double Up Eyelashes. The only reason why I got these was because my eyelash stash is running low. Now, if y'all go back to my iMat haul, that was the last time I purchased eyelashes, and I bought so many pairs of lashes from iMat. I thought it was gonna last me a long time. I thought wrong because I started to wear lashes more frequently. Like once you start wearing lashes, you can't stop. It's like you're addicted. Like I'm gonna have lashes on right now and I barely have any makeup on. So but I got a little highlight on using my highlight. I got a little highlight. Mm -hmm. Highlight point. Yeah. No highlight. But I got two pairs in 207 black. These are just like basics to me, like to me, I call them natural. They ain't really that natural, but. And next, I saw that Lancome came out with the new mascara, so I wanted to try it, but I didn't want to buy the big one because I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not. So I got the mini travel size, and it's their new 
big Montsoria. It says big and it's from Land Home. Okay. And I just can't wait to try it. I haven't used it yet because I haven't been wearing mascara. And it's in 01. It says big is the new black. Montsoria. Montsoria. I need a hooked on phonics for Land Comes products because I can't pronounce anything. That's sad. I don't know. I probably like it. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to do a video on first impressions. So, look out for that. It's going to be a video full of new products that I just got. And the last two things I got is so Fiona Styles is apparently leaving Ulta. They're not going to no longer carry it, which I've never tried her stuff before. So I bought this and a concealer. I don't know what the concealer is, but the concealer was like $6. And I got an eyebrow pencil. I got an eyebrow pencil and it's the micro precision brow sculpting pencil and I got it in neutral brown and this was like I want to say it was like six dollars I don't remember it was on sale though like look at the back just no it's just a basic brow pencil it's a little rough Ew. I'll, I'll try it I'm gonna try it out in that first impressions video that was my first time making a first impressions video stop being up track sorry so the last thing I got was because my birthday was actually just August 8th. Ulta always has, you know, the birthday gift from your birthday mom. So they gave me the NYX Happy Birthday Palette. And it actually looks pretty cute. Well, these are cute little colors. I can't, I wouldn't try this one. This one right here, this orange looking one, it's called Lemonade. Like, it's so cute. Like, I just, I haven't swatched this yet. Eh, it's okay. Yeah. Let me try this shimmer shimmer. Ooh, now that's cute. That one is cute. I don't know if you can see that. I'm horrible at swatches, by the way. Swatching is not my forte. But I'll try. I try. But that is everything. I didn't want to make this video super long, which I did. Um, but yeah, thanks you guys for coming back and watching and checking out my new video. I know, you hope you guys like some of this stuff. I didn't want to do a first impression video so you could see what it looks like on the skin if you haven't seen it before. Just so you get to feel like, oh, maybe I want to try that, maybe I don't. You have mixed feelings, you're really going to start out with a pointless product to buy. You never know. So I'm going to be that test dummy. I'm going to try everything out for you. And if you like it, just go to the store and buy but anyways, let me stop my legs. I'm just talking about that. So thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.